Hey everyone, Ryan here at E-Trailer. Today on our 2023 Ford Escape, we're gonna be showing you how to install the Roadmaster Towed Vehicle Battery Charge Line Kit. Before we get into that though, let's just take a minute, we'll check this out and talk about why it's a good idea to use something like this. Right off the bat, what a Charge Line Kit is going to do is keep your Escape's battery topped off and maintained whenever you're flat towing it down the road. And there's a handful of reasons why your battery could get depleted in the first place. Uh, one of them being because of your supplemental braking system, right? So every time that system turns on, it's gonna use a little bit of battery power, which could potentially drain it down over time. You know, you're over the road for hours and hours, things like that happen. Um, another reason could be the fact that with these escapes, a lot of times people will keep the uh, HVAC in, the, in a recirculate mode um, to help you know, keep the cabin uh, full of fresh air and everything else like that. It's, I believe Ford recommends that you do that. And so because of that, you know, that can use a little bit of power uh, and things of that nature. And with these, with these hybrids now, there's a lot of electric assisted features, right? Brakes, steering, all that type of thing and those a lot of times are very voltage sensitive so it's really important that you keep your battery at that proper voltage so all those different systems and components can work properly the way the kit is going to work is really simple uh, it just hooks up to your positive battery post here which this is the power supply because the battery is actually in the back but uh, this goes to it so same difference but then you got a wire going to a circuit breaker, which will keep everything protected in the event of a short or anything along those lines, the breaker will trip, not gonna harm your vehicle or your coach for that matter. But then the wire is gonna come out of the breaker and get ran all the way down to the front of your vehicle. That wire will get connected to your vehicle's six-way connector. So you will have to have this style uh, in order for the charge line to work because if not you won't have a place to, to hook it up to your right and where it's going to actually receive the power is from your motorhome so from your motorhome seven-way connector uh, it'll send that auxiliary power through here up through the charge line topping off that battery and keeping everything charged up now with that said you know your motorhome seven-way is going to have to have that that aux auxiliary power to begin with the vast majority of them out there, at least from my experience, do. Uh, pretty much all the late model ones do. We, uh, even ours, it's somewhat of an older model. I believe it's an 06. This had it, so it makes it really straightforward. Um, you know, this kit isn't gonna affect your motorhome's batteries at all or anything like that. They charge themselves up using the alternator whenever it's driving down the road. And so they have a little bit of amperage to spare. You know, that's what that auxiliary power is for, something like this uh, in the first place. Now, with that said, you come to find out that your motorhome doesn't have that 12 volt power back here, and you're really wanting to use this kit, which I definitely recommend for the Escape, uh, you can always pick up the motorhome side. So Roadmaster makes a kit designed for motorhomes to allow you to get that auxiliary power back here. Other than that, at the end of the day, it's really a no-brainer to use something like this. You know, it's going to ensure that your battery's topped off, all your systems are going to be able to function properly, and not to mention, too, you know, your battery's going to be charged up and not dead when you get to your destination. You go to unhook and start the vehicle, you're going to know that it's actually going to fire up. So, uh, honestly, it's, it's cheap insurance to make sure everything's going good uh, like you'd expect it to. Now, as far as the installation goes, Really not too bad at all, it's one wire. You know, you mount up that circuit breaker, run it down to the front, and that's really all there is to it. So, shouldn't really give you too many issues. With that said though, if electrical stuff just really isn't your thing, or you don't have the time or place to, to mess with something like this, I definitely understand. You can always use our dealer locator network, and hopefully that can kind of get you going in the right direction as far as finding a shop that can do something like this for you. But uh, with that in mind, why don't we go ahead and get started on this now. To begin our installation for our battery charge line kit, we're going to be working underneath the hood of our Escape. And uh, now would be a great time to also do some of your other wiring if you have to route it down to the front, like our diode or tow bar wiring, for example. Uh, but what we're going to do, you take the red charge line wire, and I'm going to drop this down 
through the engine compartment out to the front and we have the fascia removed right now just easier to route stuff with it out of the way and with our particular base plate that we have the electrical bracket uh, will be connected to the fascia not the base plate so we almost have to do this first but I'm going to route this roughly into position here I got our fascia reinstalled and this is what I was talking about our bracket connected to it and I had to drill a hole in the plastic to run our wires through that's why I just rod them over here, let them hang, and uh, you know, got the fascia back on. But what we're going to do is you can take the dust cover from your six-way connector plug, slide that over the bare end of the wires, and then for our charge line, I'm just going to clip a little bit off the end there, give us a fresh start. We're going to strip the insulation back. Give that wire a good twist. And I'm gonna do my tow bar wiring the same time here since we're right here. But for the charge line, you can take your six way round connector and we're gonna be installing our charge line on this middle terminal. So we back out the set screw almost all the way, put it in place and I don't want any bare wire exposed. So this connector plug has a pretty sh uh, shallow pocket there. I'll trim a little bit of that off. Maybe just a little bit more, because this will have power to it. You know, you don't want a hot wire in the back of the connector. So we'll slide that into position hold it in place and tighten down that set screw got the rest of our diode wires hooked up and one thing that I like to do is take some silicone and just put it in between the terminals and that'll help prevent any corrosion issues things like that Keep it all sealed. And then we'll, uh, we'll take our dust cover there. Slide that in place. I'm gonna put a little bit of tape on the back side here just to do our best to prevent moisture from getting in there. And that silicone kind of pushes up and makes a little gasket there. And what we're left to do down here, we can feed everything through and mount up our connector plug. Moving back up in the engine compartment now, we can take our circuit breaker and figure out a way to mount this up. So you can just use the provided self-tapping screws to secure it you know, close to your uh, battery post or your power post here in the engine compartment. But I noticed on these escapes, a lot of the metal's really, really hard and uh, tough to drill into. And so I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, I just had this bracket laying around and uh, attached our breaker to it. Um, and then right here, we'll go ahead and remove these nuts. We'll set these off to the side. And where I'm going to put this, if you look right down here, there's a bolt there. All right, and we'll pull that out with a 10 millimeter. Slide it through our bracket. Then we'll just reattach it here.
I took our wire here and cut it to length, crimped on a small ring terminal, and then the remaining portion of the wiring on one end, crimped on a big ring terminal, and on this end, we'll crimp on a small one. This is how you do this. You just strip the ends back, twist them, put the terminal over the bare end of the wire, and crimp it down. That's all there is to that. So for this one here, that's going to the front of our vehicle, to the six-way connector, you're gonna put that on the gold-colored post. That one's labeled battery. But in this case, our coach is acting as our battery. So that's why we're setting it up that way. Take the nut. And we'll snug this down using uh, 3 8 And you don't have to tighten these up too much. If you try to get carried away, a lot of times a breaker will break off of the little bracket there. So just snug it up. The other end on the silver post and get it tightened down. The large ring terminal is going to get connected to the power post here, which goes back to the battery. <clears throat> and with this, that stud is so long. Um, and there's not a whole lot of room in there. You can cut out a little opening like I did here, um, you know, just quite a bit further down, remove the factory nut, put this over there and tighten it up back down. But I've got a bunch of hardware on hand. And so I just cut a little opening there. I'll slide this over and I'm just going to use an additional nut there. Go ahead and run this down and tighten it up. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Roadmaster battery charge line kit on our 2023 Ford Escape.